This is Phillips Gates tra uh, transmitter and today is going to be the day that he actually fires it off, lights it up. And just take a look at the outside of it and looking through here, see what you see. These are 833 tubes. And that's done a restor rest restoration job on here. And it looks like he's done a very a very fine job on this. Just the iron down here as it's referred to. This is the right side of the cabinet here. Looking into it, it's open right now. And these are the 833s. The four in a row there. This is looking through four 833 tubes. So there's a lot of time and there's a lot of effort and there's a considerable amount of money that is now tied, uh, uh, tied up into this. I've just been informed that we're fixing to go live and this is not live transmitting this is powering up all right all right phil's got his check off sheet here all right i want you to throw the breaker wait a minute stand by throw the breaker but keep your hand on it if i scream turn it off right Right now he's checking to see if he's got any power actually coming into the cabinet. If they lose there, Phil. Okay. Oh. 246 volts. Alright, we got power coming we into the power. cabinet now. All right. Leave the switch on. Switch is staying on. Okay. Now we're warm, so to speak. I heard click. I see. I All right, see we got oh. we got power up here. The 833s are now lit up. All right, I have uh, filament voltage a hair under 10 volts. Let's let this sit for a minute. Are they all? Oh, it's running, shorting it to ground right now. Something known as a Jesus stick. Or a checking stick. All right. Uh, we had one tube that did not light. All the 833s were good. This one tube here did not show any filament. Uh, it might just be uh, a bad heating. connection on here. It could be a bad tube. Who knows? Yeah. Do you have a spare tube to go in its space? I do. Swap it out. Okay, we found the manual. Is there anything you would like to comment on, sir? We're following the tune-up procedure for a thousand watt carrier. All right, I can hardly wait. Yeah, me either. Uh, All right, right, here we go. You got power on, Ralph? No. Give me some power. Give me some power. Power's on. All right, you need to. That's not going to do anything. Okay, Philip told me to come out here and turn the radio in the car on to what? Uh, let's see. Hang on, we're gonna. We've got it set toward a certain 
frequency on AM. 1450. Which sounds like a helicopter. I hear it doing something. Alright, it's doing something. Hang on just a second. Alright, switch it again, Philip. Alright, do it again. Alright, do it again. Well, that's, that's definitely... I'm going to get a shot of your meter up there. Alright, go ahead. Right, See, uh, you can adjust your filament voltage. Uh, Alright, you're adjusting from down filament there. Voltage. Powering up again. I just want to make sure that you meant for it to be on when I turn it on. Um, Philip, how would you um, how would you describe uh, the startup procedure so far? Non-eventful. Non-eventful, which is a good thing, yes. and actually going according to plan so far. Not exactly. Not exactly, but you know, you were probably running at eighty percent efficiency right now. No idea. No idea. So he's the person you want to be around. Someone who has no idea. That's absolutely. Uh, with with something like this, I'm glad I'm in good company today. Ralph's over here laughing. Right, well, we're fixing yeah, to, uh, we're he's fixing he's to well away from whoever's going to catch fire. Is the fire extinguisher next to you, Ralph? No, the fire extinguisher right behind you. Oh, it's right. Uh, well, I think here you be the fire extinguisher, man. <laughs> All right, do you have your polyester the clothes hot, on? I got the hot stick. Okay, he's got the hot stick. Uh, nobody's wearing polyester, right? So you're, you got all cotton? I got cotton. Yeah. Uh, no nylon. We don't want anything to be melted to our skins. And I shouldn't be joking like this because something really could go wrong badly and this would be a, a bad test. Well, <laughs> I think Philip's taking his time. Yeah, I see that. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to just do the, uh, uh, that was uh, about uh, 1,400 volts in the low power position. Okay. I'm going to, well, they're both in parallel, so I'm thinking maybe that tube might be bad. Mm-hmm. We feel like we're at a stopping point. I think we are. Today I'm tired. It's time yeah, to if you're getting tired, then leave your electricity alone. Yeah. Makes good sense to me. Pull up. Yeah, the multimeter's not working. Oh, so I don't know it on my driver. I really can't. I really can't do anything more until we. You gotta set your uh, your levels and stuff. But one tube heating up like that, one of the tubes started getting real red. We got a dripping trace coming down that. Dripping trace? What? Where? Yeah, on the tube itself. It's like something. Is that on the inside or the outside of the tube? I'm thinking it's the outside. Yeah, something dripped on it. I think. 